What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix dropped frames and lag while streaming or recording with OBS Studio. Before we dive into the settings, first launch OBS Studio as an administrator. Search for OBS Studio in your start menu and select Run as Administrator. This ensures OBS has full access to your system resources, which is crucial for smoother performance. Once OBS is running, disable the preview mode, which can reduce the load on your system significantly. Right-click anywhere in the preview area and then deselect Enable Preview. Now let's get started with optimizing your OBS settings. Open OBS Studio and navigate to the Settings menu. In the Video tab, set the base or canvas resolution to your monitor's native resolution. This resolution should match your screen's display resolution. If you're unsure about this, right-click your desktop, select Display Settings and scroll down to the Scale and Layout section to find your native resolution. Once you've confirmed this, set the output or scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080 for standard Full HD streams. If you're experiencing lag, you can lower this to 1280 by 720 for better performance. Next, adjust the downscale filter. For sharper images, choose Langsos, but note this may require more system resources. If your PC is on the lower end, set this option to be cubic for a good balance between quality and performance. Below that, set the common FPS values to 60 for smoother streams. If your system struggles, you can lower it to 30 FPS as a fallback option. Now, test your internet speed to ensure your connection can handle streaming. Open up your web browser and head to speedtest.net. Run a speed test to measure your upload speed. For streaming in 1080p and 60 FPS, you need at least 4 MB per second upload speed. If your upload speed is below that, consider streaming at 720p and 30fps instead. With your internet speed confirmed, go to the Output tab in your OBS settings. Switch the Output mode to Advanced and navigate to the Streaming section. Set the encoder to NVIDIA NVENC if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If not, choose X264, which uses your CPU to encode to stream. Under Rate Control, select CBR for constant bitrate which ensures a consistent streaming quality. Set the bitrate based on your upload speed. For 1080p at 60fps, choose 4500kbps per second. For 720p at 30fps, choose 3500. Set the keyframe interval to 2 seconds, which ensures smooth playback. Under Preset, select Quality and set the profile to Main. Leave the remaining settings as they are. For your recording settings, still under the Output tab, set the recording format to MP4 as it's widely compatible with any editing software. Use the High Quality Recording preset unless you're experiencing performance issues. If you're dropping frames during recording, switch to the Recording preset, which will adjust other settings automatically. Set the encoder to NVIDIA NVENC, AMD or X264, depending on your available hardware. In the Advanced tab, Set the process priority to above normal. This ensures OBS gets priority over the other background processes, reducing lag during streaming or recording. Under the Network section, bind your IP to your Ethernet connection if possible. This optimizes OBS's bandwidth usage and minimizes network-related interruptions. Finally, ensure your GPU drivers are up to date. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, use the GeForce Experience application. Open the Drivers tab and click Download to update your drivers. For AMD GPUs, use their driver suite to download the latest updates. Updated drivers improve system performance and compatibility with OBS Studio. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.